Carnivals are places of fun and laughter, beacons of light and happiness in the dark. Make sure not to walk too far from the crowds and the music. Don't be lured by the painted panels and inviting colors of that lonely caravan. Or someone else just might find one of your fingers added to the clown's collection. The new map is called Father Campbell's Chapel. This building was once a haven from the horrors of the rest of the asylum. Patients would come here for refuge, to seek guidance and to unburden their souls. Then on that fateful night, the asylum's halls fell quiet and the father met his end in the confessional where he had helped so many. It has been joined by a strange sight, a brightly colored caravan pulled by a sickly horse. Only a fool would let the bright colors seduce them into visiting. The new killer is called the Clown. Throughout his years experimenting with anesthetics and muscle relaxants, the Clown developed several effective concoctions and formulas. He used his favorite, the Afterpiece Tonic, to great effect, intoxicating and capturing many unwilling victims. The Clown has a surprising agility for a man of his size, along with a terrifying appearance and the ability to sabotage the survivor's efforts. The Clown can hurl gas bombs which explode on impact, creating a cloud of deadly gas which lasts for a brief amount of time. Any survivor affected by the deadly gas suffers from a negative effect for the duration they spend in the cloud, and for two seconds after leaving it. Affected survivors make coughing sounds, suffer from the hindering status effect, and have blurred vision. The clown has three perks. The first one is called Bamboozle. Your vault speed is faster. Performing a vault action calls upon the entity to block that vault location temporarily. Only one vault location may be blocked in this way at any time. The vault location is blocked only for survivors. The second perk is called Cholrophobia. Your presence alone instills great fear. All survivors healing within your terror radius have a penalty to healing speed. The final perk is called Pop Goes the Weasel. A deep bond with the entity unlocks great strength. After hooking a survivor, the next generator you break is instantly regressed by a chunk. Normal generator regression applies after the damage is done. Pop Goes the Weasel must be used within 30 seconds after the survivor is hooked. The new survivor is called Kate Denson. One of Kate's earliest memories was standing in front of her family, singing a song that she had learned that morning at school, and watching smiles spread across their faces. Seeing how something as simple as a song could make people so happy was the moment when she knew what she wanted to do with her life. She practiced, learned the guitar as soon as she was big enough to reach over it, and was performing in front of crowds by the time she was eight years old. With age came a newfound freedom. She bought a battered old truck and was able to travel around by herself, meeting fans and making new friends wherever she stopped. Hers wasn't a story of rock excess, though. Just the road, her guitar, and maybe a good bourbon to end the day. Kate Denson comes with three perks. The first one is called Windows of Opportunity. Auras of pallets and vaults are revealed to you when within range. Windows of Opportunity has a cooldown when vaulting or dropping a pallet during a chase. The second perk is called Boil Over. You're a battler and do everything to escape a foe's grasp. Your struggling effects on the killer are increased you obscure the killer's ability to see hook auras within range. The final perk is called Dance With Me. When performing a fast vault or leaving a locker in a sprint, you leave no scratch marks for a limited time. Dance With Me has a cooldown. The Curtain Call chapter is available now everywhere.